Hello, Alex RC Freak here, coming at you with another video of the Traxxas X-Max 8S Torque Biasing Center Differential. So, um, this is the center differential right here. This is what it looks like. And uh, it has an aluminum case with these fins on the side here to help keep it for cool. And it's actually really well machined. It's, uh, you know, cast aluminum. But it's been machined where the surfaces are for like the bearing. It's actually been CNC machined right there. But this is cast aluminum. It's not super fancy CNC machined aluminum. This is centered metal on the uh, spur gear, if you want to call it that, or on the gear surface. It's centered metal. So it's powdered metal that's molded into a form. Um, there's four, to take this apart, there's four 2.5 millimeter screws to do this so basically here it is i'm going to show you taking it apart and just so you know i don't know a lot of people do not know this all this really basically is they call it a torque biasing center differential in real life the gears the internal differential gears are uh helical cut so they're cut at like a spiral angle and they're like the spiral cut uh, diff gears you can get for the 6S X Max, and you could use them too on the 8S, the spiral cuts. But they're like that; they're helical cut gears, and when you, when they torque load, they tighten up and it'll you know work. But uh, these are just regular differential gears, but the housing is a little different with this gear on here, and then this case is a little different. And uh, let me just take it apart. And this also has 20 million diff fluid. This is the actual Traxxas diff fluid for the X-Max. 20 million diff fluid. That's really thick. I mean super thick. So, just so you know, it's 20 million diff fluid. Alright, and then here's the bearings that come on it. They're black seal. They look pretty nice. They're actually a lot better than their other seals, I think, in my opinion. But, alright, anyway, let's get on to taking this apart here. So, Now, I always suggest doing this by hand. Don't use a power tool on this kind of stuff, especially on this kind of metal. You know, it's cast aluminum, you know. Don't be lazy. Just do it by hand, you know. It, it takes a few seconds. It's not that bad. So, that's my opinion. But, you know, like I say, everyone has their own way of doing things. And I will say this. If you ever get a brand new out-of-the-box X-Max, seriously, take the thing apart on the, all the differentials and lube them up and clean them in solvent parts automobile parts solvent to actually get them fully clean the right way and then blow them off with a compressor with a good compressor but let's take this apart here let's make sure it's filled that's the only reason why i'm doing that because the rear diff had no fluid in it so this is what it looks like on the inside you got your seal here you got your little washer, nylon washer there. You got your gasket there. Same gasket as the front and rear differential. Same gasket as the front and rear differential. All the parts are basically the same. It's just the housing is different. And this gear is a little different. So we're going to take that off and make sure it's filled. And now look at this. This is literally, this is taken off. I don't know how well. Let me get my light in here real quick here. Let me get my light over here so you guys can see this. This is literally, look at that, it's it's empty. This is exactly what I mean by Traxxas, their quality control is trash. Look at how empty that is, there's bare, There's no fluid in there, there's a teensy little bit, this teensy little bit here, that's all that's in there. It's just irritating when you spend that much on an RC vehicle to get this quality. It's not even filled. So, the reason why some people Say their truck isn't moving and it's it's kind of goes and then backs it like it goes forward and then backs it off like a little bit like it goes into neutral kind of thing. It's probably because these gears are shredded because they skipped a tooth and it's not communicating with this other gear. So what I'm going to do, put some of this Traxxas 20 million diff fluid in here and uh, get it filled up. Now you will have to either use a flathead or some sort of something to... Uh, Get it out.
So yeah, you could use a flathead to make sure the tip is clean. And then you could just fill it. So it's basically the same thing as your front diff. You just grab a little chunk like that. And you just stick it in there. And really pack it in there good. Now this stuff is super thick. Like it's super firm. It's basically almost like silly putty. And in my opinion, that is the best way to lock this. So, um, you can even use a screwdriver too if you want to pack it down in there even more. You know, you could use a screwdriver. So, basically that's full. You don't want to do any more than that because you got this other gear that has a little bit on it. You know, so. They give you enough, more than enough to do it. You could probably rebuild it with this much, uh... I'm guessing four times, five times, you probably rebuild the diff and correctly fill it up. And so basically you want to stick this, take this, stick it down in there, like that. Now you may want to take all this little access right here, you may want to take a little flathead screwdriver and just go around the edge and just kind of cut it off around the edge here. I mean, just take pride in your work when you if you work on RC vehicles, because I'm just that picky. And you can always stick that little bit back in there. Close up this. And push this thing down, make sure it's, you know, locked. And then you can take your gear here, inspect it, make sure that there's no weird deformities make sure this surface right here where the fair or the seal the rubber seal right here seals against is not deformed or anything or there's no burrs or anything that you may want to shave off so what's nice is these points right here line up right in here on each side there's little points to do that so basically what you do is after you push down this gear you take this and you make sure you line up those points so you do, and then you just push down. That's kind of a tight fit. And then you just reinstall your screws. So, and one thing I will say, in my opinion, that Traxxas did 100% right on this truck, on the X-Max, version 2 8S. The genuine 8S one. They fixed all the problems that were on the first one. Which, in my opinion, I have the first generation. And it's never gave me any problems. But they really developed it a little bit better drivetrain. So, which is cool. They really refined it. And this is the right way to do a center diff. 20 million diff fluid. Basically, the center diff is locked up. Basically, it has just barely enough squish to it. Just a tiny bit. Because think about it. That's how you can get wheelies on demand with a center diff. It's basically locking it up. So that's what they did. They basically locked it up, but they gave it just enough thickness on viscosity of the diff fluid so it will give a little bit if you're on a jump and you land really hard. So I'm just saying, for anyone who's wondering. So basically you just tighten these screws. Now do it at a crisscross or a star pattern. Any more than two screws, tighten it up just a little bit. Go to tighten this one just a little bit. Now do it evenly, because this really does matter for the gasket surface on the diff cup and on the uh, pinion gear right here. So And that's, that's the diff finished. So basically now you can actually drive your X-Max with confidence that you're not going to destroy your diffs the first run and you can lit, beat it up. So 
this X Max, I'm just gonna keep bone stock. I'm not gonna do any fancy mods. I might do the hinge pin mod for the control arms, but that's about it. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna rock it stock, and you can stick your bearings on, and then you got a finished. You got a finished diff. That's pretty much it. Very nice looking diff. I like how they did the aluminum case. It's a really nice touch, especially for tracks as many, but. Alright, thanks for watching. Alex RC Freak out. Peace.